So let's try this one, guys. How many moles of nitrogen gas will be produced from reacting 0.523 kilograms of dinitrogen tetroxide? So we've got this reaction equation which tells us, gives us the ratios of uh, the different reactants to products. Of course, we've got a 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 ratio here. So 1 equivalence to 2 equivalence goes to 3 equivalence to 4 equivalence. Okay? So, but this tells us the ratio of moles. Okay? And we don't have moles up here. But we can figure out moles from mass values. Okay? So the mass of dinitrogen tetroxide that equals 0 0.5 Two, three kilograms. Okay, we're going to have to put this into grams first so we can use the molecular weight of dinitrogen tetroxide to figure this problem out. Okay, so we have to remember that one kilogram is 1,000 grams. So cancel those two out. And so that equals. 523 grams of dinitrogen tetroxide. So now we're going to have to use uh, the molecular weight or the molar mass of dinitrogen tetroxide and uh, convert that to number of moles. Okay. So dinitrogen tetroxide is 14.01 times 2, so we've got two nitrogens, right, so 2 times 14.01, oxygen, we have four of them, times 16.00, and both of these are in AMU. So if we just add those numbers up, we get 92.02 AMU. Remember, that's the uh, molecular weight of dinitrogen tetroxide. Okay, we can assume the molar mass of dinitrogen tetroxide is 92.02 grams per mole. Okay? So with that information, we should be able to figure out the number of moles of dinitrogen tetroxide we have. So let's go ahead and do that. So the number of moles of N2O4 equals point 0 0.523, oh, sorry, we converted that, 523 grams multiplied by one mole over 92.02 grams. Grams cancel, leaving us with the number of moles. So, just take our calculator, 523 divided by 92.02. That gives us approximately 5.68 moles of N2O4. Okay. So, to figure out the number of moles of nitrogen, so we're not interested in that, but we are interested in the number of moles of nitrogen. But we can use this to get us the number of moles of nitrogen. So we know that we've got 5.68 moles of N2O4, and we know the ratio of moles is 1 to 3 of dinitrogen tetroxide to nitrogen gas. So all we got to do is multiply this by 
3 moles N2 over 1 mole N2O4. Moles of N2O4 cancel out. And that gives us the number of moles of nitrogen. So all we got to do is multiply that by 3. And we come out with 17.1 moles N2. Of course, we use three sig figs because in the original problem, our, uh, our numbers only had three sig figs. So that's how you would do balancing equation and figuring out the number of moles.